the Cavan goalkeeper. How do you put that into words, Alan? We came here, for the temporary, we came here to get a job done and thankfully we've done it and we've got everywhere to win. There was, this was all, this game was all about getting the win and getting that performance and just getting over the line. Everyone knew with the game three or four days, whatever it was, and it wasn't going to be easy, but we had to come here, put our head down, work hard and literally just get the win. And when fair to the boys, they've done that, everyone will put in their shift and we got the win that we needed. And the turnaround of three days didn't adversely affect you, particularly in the second half. Oh, Maybe sure. coming up to half time, there were little signs, but whatever was said at yeah. half time, they were obliterated. Oh, sure. I'm 20, he's 20, he's 20. <laughs> we can play for, play for another hour now if you want us to. Like it's, I mean, you could, we could moan and cry about the three days. It wasn't ideal, it was far from ideal, but that's just the way it was, and we had to make the most of it. This is our, we're, we're, this is our, this is our, three, our, our three last year on 21. We weren't going to throw away an opportunity like this. We came here to, to play hard, get, try and get a result, and we've done that. So, I mean, if you can cry, if you had a loss, I'm sure the three days would have become a massive thing, but we've got our win, and I hope no team has to do in the future because it's, it's not easy. But, I mean, we won, so we'll probably die over. Yeah. You made one brilliant save in the second half, put the leg out there and averted real danger, and that was one of the turning points. You must have been happy with that. I was, to be sure. I refer to these lads. I know these are, since I know these lads are 14 or 15, and they put in the shift to, to keep lads away from me, so they, they snuck through once or twice and I, I did what I had to do. But the lads deserve credit. They deserve to work hard to make, to stop lads coming in to me, but when they do, it's my job to do, and it was nice to get it done today. Or I, have to, I had a bit of injury now, it was nice to get it going. Well, we turn now to Kevin Meehan. Another great performance tonight, Kevin. A lot of spade work had to be done in the defence because they really put it up to you, but you drove on in the second half. Yeah, I think uh, all credit was going to the expert because you know, they were underdogs in their own province from the very beginning. And they went and won that. And I'm sure when they saw us come out, they were on the right side of the road. They were thinking it should be a very good opportunity here for these boys over as well. But we knew in our hearts and hearts that. We're on with, uh, Wexford were there for the take, and we know that they're going in as underdogs and we're probably favourites coming into this game, so we, we said we'd take our chances, and as Alan said, look, some of this stuff is not going to be able to say some commentary was made about the turnover in three days and all that. You're young men, as Alan said, and you could run all day. Did it adversely affect you at any stage in the game? Well, look, look, I think a lot of it was made in the paper and stuff like that. Yeah, but as Alan said, we're all 20 years of age. You know, we all knew if the game was in three days' time, we had to prepare for a game in three days' time. Credit was go to Roman, the lads inside, you know, to put everything in place for us, you know, for all the recovery stuff that was there. So we were ready for it, regardless of whether it had to be the next day or three days later, we were going to be ready for this time. You know? I think you were a roommate of uh, Killian Kills, the full forward, is that right? Is our information right? No, it's not. It's, it's <laughs> falls on this behalf. I think it's Nile McDermott. Oh, is it? Yeah, 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 we got yeah. that wrong. But uh, how do you feel personally into an All Ireland final and a victory here in Dublin tonight? No, it's fantastic. You know, it's it's not too often Cavan teams have got to All Ireland under 21 finals. So, again, we're, look, we're, we're in the final. It's, it's only a means to an end getting over this task. And we know there's a big, big test against Galway in the next round. They've turned over uh, Cork tonight. Uh, Cork will probably favours to win the whole thing out. And look, we know there's a big, 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 big task ahead of us. And a few celebrations will be allowed tonight, I think. Well, we'll talk about it inside. You know, it's, uh, we're only in the final. And we turn now to the fullback, Oshin Miner. How do you feel at this moment? Yeah, I'm delighted, yeah, as well. As Kevin said, we, were, we had a few aims at the start of the year. The first aim was to win the Hastings Cup. The next was to win Ulster, obviously, and now our uh, third aim is to win uh, the All-Ireland Final. So we're not going to get too over, over the moon about it. Obviously, we're happy and delighted to be there, and it's a great lift for Cavan football to be back where it should be in an All-Ireland Final. So, yeah, we're very happy, yeah. Wexford threw everything at you, particularly in the second half, and the midfielders were winning a lot of possession. A lot of ball going in around the square, and a dangerous shot. One of them hit an upright, and this man on my left here, Alan O'Mara, stopped one. You were living on your nerves there coming up to half time, but you got away with it. Yeah, we were living on our nerves. Like, but as we said inside, we, we, we played poorly tonight, but a lot of it was down to the, the tiredness and, and with the showing the character of the team that we that we stood tall and we made a lot of mistakes but we did also do a lot of good things too and it just got us over the line and like it takes it takes boys to stand up on nights like that like Alan Alan standing up there and saving the saving the last shot and then boys in defence turning over things like that. Like obviously we'll we'll work to improve on the few things that went against us tonight. And just finally to sum up from your own point of view, what does it mean to you personally to be on the cusp of playing in an all Ireland final representing Cavan? 
Oh, it's brilliant today. I, it's been you know, something we look forward to. Personally, now uh, we, we can't wait to get out there in two weeks' time and hopefully we'll be doing our best, de our best efforts to bring it home, you know, because it's what cabin people deserve and that's the main, main aim for everyone here, you know. And we leave the final word now to Alan O'Mara, a good man with the words and a good man with the pen as well, Alan. <laughs> How do you sum this moment up uh, with all your players that you've grown up with and you've talked about this moment for so long to be in an All Ireland final? Oh, it's fantastic, like, I mean, we have talked about it, and we've no mistake about it, it's all we ever talk about. But we're there now, I mean, there's no point getting caught up in the moment and just kind of taking the foot off the gas. Like, we have two weeks, we have a massive, massive test ahead, there's one more game for us there. And we're going to have to go out and turn to really perform that day. If we go out and half playing that day, <laughs> to, to the, the joy and all will soon be gone because an all-round final is there. You, you don't want to lose an all-round final. It's like one. We have two weeks to get ourselves right and we sure will be sure we'll working hard towards getting performance. Alan O'Mara, Oisín Moina and Kevin Meehan, thanks a million. Best of luck in the final. Enjoy yourself tonight. Thanks, Sean.